Here is the letter that he sent to us. Dear respected members of the organ organizing committee and eminent academics, scholars, speakers, and those in attendance here today. I believe that future genera generations will remember them with gratitude. Fatula Gulen. Alle Partner dieser Konferenz stehen für einen kritischen, wissenschaftlichen, unvoreingenommenen Dialog. Ich bin sicher, dass diese Partner die denkbar besten Fachleute eingeladen haben, um die Frage nach der Tragfähigkeit der Gülenbewegung als Brücke zwischen den Kulturen zu diskutieren. In diesem Sinne ist es mir eine Ehre, diese Konferenz zu eröffnen und ich tue dies mit den besten Wünschen für eine ertragreiche Diskussion und mit hohen Erwartungen für den interkulturellen Dialog. Vielen Dank. Tradition und Moderne bedingen sich wechselseitig. Tradition ohne Moderne ist Hülle. Moderne ohne Tradition bleibt wurzellos. Das Bindeglied zwischen beiden Polen bildet der Dialog, der Interkulturelle ebenso wie der Interreligiöse. In diesem Sinne, meine Damen und Herren, ist es geradezu die Aufgabe einer Universität, dem interreligiösen Dialog als Forum des offenen Meinungsaustauschs zu dienen. Ich wünsche Ihrer Konferenz vielfältige Anregungen, kritische Denkanstöße und weiterführende Erkenntnisse. First of all about the Uh, the name of uh, Fethullah Gulen movement schools. Why sometimes they are not called as Fethullah Gulen schools? We face the same problem in Russia. And the problem is formal. When I say this car is mine, I mean that this car belongs to me, yeah? When we say Fethullah Gulen schools in Russia, many people understand that They were created by Fethullah Gulen. Formally, legally, they were, formally, they were created by him, but it's not correct. They are not uh, legally, they are not uh, belong, they, are, uh, they don't belong to Fethullah personally, legally. And in order to avoid this misunderstanding, I personally prefer not to name them, not to call them Fethullah Gulen School. I do understand what the contents, the The, the moral concerns, the cultural contents of this school, but in order to avoid this misunderstanding, I prefer in a, some other wordings. The second question is more complicated, I only briefly uh, one, one point. Um, the correlation between secular society and Fethullah Gulen moves. Islam is not only religion. When we say something, or call something Islamic, Or if we say Islam, we doesn't mean absolutely that it is absolutely religion. Islam is, all, is also culture, is the mode of life, civilization. And we have to separate between the uh, Fethullah teachings as theologian, as at the same time as the political thinker, as the sociologist thinker. And the way we say that there are some Uh, Islamic values uh, can be used for building a modern society, which doesn't mean absolutely that this is religious pillars. The Turkish conflict between Kemalists and religious people has also got to the Netherlands. And in the media, there were television programs insulting Gulen people of having a hidden agenda, A theoretical perspective inspired by uh, Quran chapter 5 verse 58 which I will read to you likullin ja'alna minkum shir'atan wa minhajan wa law sha'a Allahu la ja'alakum ummatan wahidatan walakin liyablukum min um, liyablukum fi ma atakum 
فاستبقوا الخيرات إلا الله مرجعكم جميعا فينبئكم بما كنتم فيه تختلفون The last century has proven that secular government has not solved the problems of humanity at large or even those of the European nations. The human condition is too complex, too subtle to be managed simply through what have been termed rational or scientific means. In fact, in the modern period, as we know, the worst aggressions and the worst transgressions of religious governance have been equaled and surpassed by secular governance in the name of science and rationality. Und einige dieser Schulen sind natürlich, deshalb sprechen wir heute drüber, von der Gülen-Bewegung organisiert und getragen. Wir haben jetzt schon viel über die Bedeutung der Bildung in der Philosophie Fethullah Gülens gehört. Und ich kann nur sagen, eigentlich hat sich das an den Schulen, die wir besucht haben in Australien, an den Gülen-Schulen, alles bestätigt. Also dieser hohe Wert, die Wertschätzung, die dem Gut Bildung entgegengebracht wird und auch die vorhin von Simon Robinson auf, aufgeführte Eigenverantwortung, all das haben wir eigentlich in Aktion, wenn man so will, in Australien sehen können. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I want to greet you using the name of God because I think in, on a day as today, it is important to realize that what we do and also what Fethullah Gulen does in his work is dependent on God's goodness and God's mercy. And I think it's very important to begin with this reminder from the Muslim tradition. And of course, that is also my way to introduce to you how I, as a Christian theologian, try to read Fethullah Gulen as a theologian. I've known the Gulen movement for almost two years now. Um, I had a great, a great privilege of meeting Fethullah Gulen um, and obviously massively impressed. Um, and I'm working closely with the Gulen movement uh, and we have uh, five PhD students who are working together on, on some really exciting areas like um, Gulen's view of responsibility and how that uh, view relates to issues like global responsibility and corporate responsibility and professional and personal responsibility. If Gulen has been able to instill a sense of harmony and united service, his met among his followers, it's largely because of the emphasis that he has put, I believe, on purity of intention. And he cites Mevlana to this effect. So I quote Mevlana, uh, as cited by Fethullah Gulen. He says, you should be sincere in all your deeds so that the majestic Lord may accept them. Sincerity is the wing of the bird of the acts of obedience. Without a wing, how can you ever fly to the abode of happiness. Und ich möchte eigentlich mir wünschen von diesem Kongress, dass wir in diesen Klärungsprozessen, wer sind wir für uns selbst und für andere, wie leben wir miteinander, zu Ergebnissen kommen, die insgesamt unsere menschlichen Gesellschaften voranbringen. Ich danke Ihnen. Um, in the way um, Gulen schools are organized, the very significant thing for me though is that they are open to non-Muslims and um, whereas traditionally we would think of zakat and um, sadaqa as being mainly for um, Muslims in the first instance at the outset the Gulen movement is focusing on a wider community. Religion bleibt ja für die Anhänger von Gülen jenseits der Schulen eher im privaten Bereich. Es ist jetzt kein, eine Schule ist ja nicht als Missionierungsgedanke gedacht und die ganzen Nachhilfeeinrichtungen ebenfalls nicht. Also insofern sehe ich die Kritik, kann die Kritik auf den ersten Blick hin verstehen, aber wenn man genauer hinschaut und sieht, was nützt die Inhalte in diesen Bildungseinrichtungen, dann wird die Kritik etwas gegenstandslos.